Hey, hey, hey. Energy focus for the week. Maybe it's halftime on Super Bowl. I don't know. But come on in and join me. Let's talk about what's going on this week, this month. It is 2 2 22. Great numbers. And my abundance meditation today is day 33. So some really great numbers coming in today, opening us up to this week. Come on in and join me if you can. I am streaming over here on Instagram as well as Facebook and in my Empowered Spirit Circle as well. So come on in, share it out, align your energy with me now or later, either way. So maybe you're enjoying the Super Bowl. All right. Hey, Paul, how are you? All right, guys. Welcome. Welcome, everyone. Tarianne Hyman here. This is my Empowered Spirit live stream video for the week where we align our energy together. We look at the cards for guidance and we just see what's going on. All right. That's what is going on this week. We're in that first quarter of the moon. All right. And lots of times that first quarter can make us feel a little bit stressed. We're starting those new intentions that we have. And then we have a little bit of converse or a little bit of stress or controversy is what I'm trying to say come up. That's the duality. And that's also what we're feeling today in this 2 2 2020 energy. Two is their dualities. And so when we align with this portal of energy, sometimes we can feel that. We can feel both sides, like the logical and the spiritual. But when we go in and open up to this portal of energy, you can find a better alignment for yourself as well, especially as you look at both sides. Where am I now? What am I doing? Where is this new purpose drawing you to be? All right. And that's a lot of the energy that we're going to see as we move through this week. So really, the energy really kind of begins with, too, like noticing how much is on your plate, all right? January was 31 days. It's a long month, but the energy was all going direct and fast, and we had those two eclipses that came in. So now you may be going, oh, my God, I have so many things going on. And some of it may be different. It may be new. So you may be even feeling a little bit raw about it. And the tendency is to want to go back, and tendency is want to go, like, into your – old way, your comfort ways, because you do have so much going on. And this is where really the theme is going to be this month, really, is like, how do you manage your time, right? How do you manage your inner self as well? Both are going to be really important. So finding the ability to do that is going to be very helpful. So maybe you agree with me. Let me know. Give me a thumbs up. Do you find as you're starting up this month and even going in, even the work week tomorrow, so much is on your plate, so many things that need your attention now, right? And that's a lot of what we are facing. So really grounding your energy this week, knowing that you do need to maybe plan a little bit more. Some of that Saturn energy may be hitting you. Look at your to-do list. Write it down so that you don't feel so overwhelmed. I know for me, I do a lot of tapping when I get this way. Tapping it out. What am I trying to do? Otherwise, I could spin wheels all day. So really finding the skills and the tools that are going to help you start to move through this week. All right? Really, really important Really pay, pay close attention to the signs, all right? I had a great story this weekend. I did get a new car. Yay. Finally, all that accident stuff is like kind of clearing out. Just have some forms to fill out, tags, all that kind of stuff. But there were so many signs pointing me to this particular car. And I feel really good about the decision. Of course, I'm always, you know, a little bit nervous about taking on something else, something new. Another, another thing for my budget. I kept saying I have to stay with my budget. But all of this energy leading me through the signs, the white car, the 1111, and really finding one that's going to be very helpful. So these are the things that can help you make decisions. I've had a couple of people come in and say, oh, I'm just having so much trouble making decisions. All right, finding the signs to help you do that. Trusting your gut, trusting those instincts, really important as we move through this month. That's going to help you figure out all those many things that you've now taken on from the new year, from your new intentions, and really learning and figuring out how do I schedule those out. Nothing has to be done all at once, and I know I tend to want to do that. I get all these ideas and everything, I want it all done at once, and that really does cause more stress than we need. So really not being distracted by energy drains, not letting yourself fall back in some of these old habits is what is going to help you manage your time as well as your inner time as well. Both need to do it. And asking yourself questions like, okay, what is my priority this week? What are the main things I have to do? Jotting them down in your to-do book or your journal, your notebook, whatever it is, your planner that you use. What can wait till tomorrow? What can I delegate? Where am I getting distracted? All of these questions you can ask yourself as you move into your day. And even setting up your day at the end of the day, like, okay, I got all this done. And make sure you give yourself some gratitude 
when you get stuff done, highlight it, check it off, something like that so you feel like you've accomplished. Even if it's little things, you feel better about it, all right? This month, too, we're going to see a lot more attention to health, all right? We already know this with what's going on in the Wuhan in China. Lots of energy going out to there. And just looking at your own health. What are you doing? How can you take better care of yourself? I know I've been working on that, and I actually am finally, yay, seeing some signs of recovery for me and actually starting to go in the other way of feeling much, much stronger. So where is it for you as well? What is it about your body, the physical aspects too, that you need to pay a lot more attention to? You're going to see that coming into play this week as well. All right. Also too, we're going to see a little bit more of that boundaries important. That's going to help you manage your time. We're going to see a little bit more of like, even in relationship, this is February. This is that romance month, so to speak. But you're going to also see some of that Venus energy play itself out too. And the thing here too is really as you take care of yourself, you'll be better in alignment to be with others and to have that relationship for other people in your life. So again, managing that, again, we see that same theme moving through all the things that we're doing as we go to start this week. So let go of the stress. Ground your energy as you move through. Use lots of time management tools. Some of us are better at it than others. I know, like I said, I do a lot of tapping. If you need help, reach out. It definitely helps you to plan it. Don't let yourself get distracted. Find that place that you can bring that balance into your life so that you can be productive, all right? We're going to go into a full moon next weekend in Leo, and then we're going into a Mercury retrograde. And that Mercury retrograde is going to be in Pisces, so it's going to be a little bit more emotional. However, I don't know, I was saying, you know, I'm almost kind of glad because I feel like we've been moving so fast, it's going to help us to pull back a little bit, all right? So try to be forward with the work you're doing. Manage your time as you go through this week. Use your tools, ground your energy, and look at where you can. Just recognize many things are maybe shifting. Many things may be new and different. And don't really allow yourself to fall back into those old habits. Sometimes it seems easier to get things done. All right, we're going to see that kind of energy moving through as we go through this week. All right, so let's just take a moment and ground our energy together. Take a nice deep inhale wherever you are. If you can, close the eyes for a minute. Inhaling and exhaling. Calling in your energy, pulling it back from this week, from this weekend. Imagine the auric field just coming in. And exhale, sending it down the body, connecting to Mother Earth. Allow yourself grounding in the energy. Take another deep breath up the body. And exhale, send that breath all the way back down deep into the earth. Allow the breath to start slowing down. As you pull in your energy, just imagine the energy field coming in, pulling it in, pulling it in, pulling it in, so it's closer around the body. This helps to align. Call in your spiritual body, aligning it right on top of the physical body. Feel that connection as we open up. Calling in our masters and our teachers, our spirit guides, feel that alignment coming in for you. As we look to the season where we are in this very present moment of winter, teachings of the medicine wheel teach us the direction is the north for our dreams, our visions, connecting with the elders and all those that have passed, calling in their wisdom, setting the directions for guidance and protection, calling in the north, the east, the south, and the west, above us, below us, calling right into the very center. Feel that alignment with your spirit. Setting an intention for this week, bringing it right into that third eye center, Sealing, feeling that intention coming in, managing your time, feeling more centered, feeling more balanced, whatever it is for you, setting that energy, setting it out for this week, and then allow those elevated emotions to come in for peace, for productivity, for calmness, whatever it is, However it is, too, that you want to feel, let those elevated emotions come in as you send out those intentions. Feeling yourself grounding, moving into this new month, opening up to this beautiful portal of energy, 0202-2020. No matter how you look at it, that duality of life for yourself, that balancing the yin and the yang, the spiritual, the physical, let all that energy just center, coming in, feeling that presence for you. Taking a nice deep inhale and exhale. Taking another moment, connecting with your spirit. 
grounding with Mother Earth. Just taking this moment and trying to slow down. Good mantra for this week as well. Slow down. As you manage your energy, manage your time, the inner management and the outer as well. One more deep inhale and exhale. Just bringing that awareness back, coming back, opening the eyes. Noticing how you're feeling. All right. So as we look to the cards for guidance, we got a full major arcana of cards this week. We really did. Drawing from the wild unknown. So it is a big week. Today is a big day, and that's part of it. I love the cards that we got. The first one that starts out is the emperor. So this is a great energy for all of us. This is like discipline, that Saturn energy. Do your work. Stand tall. Know who you are. Look for the hidden parts, too. That's this part over here, like almost like an eclipse energy. So know that that energy can come in, the duality as well. Stand tall in what you do. Stay strong. This card always reminds me of, like, earned discipline. Like, sometimes we have to, you know, get there, learn the hard way. That would be me. And that's kind of the energy we honor. It's also more a yang energy, all right? That's how we all can focus for this week to help us, I think, in the discipline and the management of time, right? So if you chose card number one, it's the Empress, all right? So now we have that yen energy coming out. There's that duality showing up in the cards. So this is not only be strong and be active, this is also be intuitive. Bring the energy in intuitively. And I do believe this will help you flow more through the energy instead of having to push so hard. This is the balance to that card, all right? If you chose card number two, it's the lovers. Yay, the February energy comes in. And I love it in this deck because she shows both of the... Both of the uh, swans, like, fall, I guess they're swans, the ducks, the geese. I think they're geese. <laughs> she shows both of the birds flying in the same direction. So even though they're in partnership, they're both on their path. So it's important to remember that, that, that responsible energy of loving yourself, having your path, connecting to someone else through the ability to love yourself first and foremost. So we're both on our paths, but yet we go in this together. Look at all the beautiful colors that come in with this card as well. All right. And that's that nurturing of yourself, right? And then the third card is the judgment card. And this card is all about like really following those signs that we were talking about earlier. These are those aha moments. So down here, it's like all the darkness. But as you open up the energy, you start to rise up. It's almost like the phoenix rising. But this card, too, reminds you, like, where is all of that in your own life? Where can you open up to greater possibilities? Let the darkness go. Release all that judgment. Don't give yourself shame or blame or any of that. But open up to the lessons and to that aha moment for where you are in your own life as well. All right. So take a nice deep inhale. And just let that energy settle. Let me know if you have questions or if you'd like a card, all right? So, so much going on. I have a lot of stuff going on with Reiki. Yay, I'm announcing my Reiki 3 retreat. If you're in the Reiki Mastery level, let me know. I'll be sending out lots more information. I'm also starting a Reiki circle at Practice Works this week on Friday, the first Friday of the month. So that will be this Friday, 12 noon, 12 to 1. Kind of like your lunch and learn. Stop in for a little Reiki. Come join us. It's the first one. Show up. And then we're going to be continuing our community, building a community Reiki community. We're going to meet on uh, Tuesday. I'll put it in the notes below. I think it's the 11th. And we're going to meet at um, the bathhouse in Homewood. All right. More on that. If you're interested, let me know. We had a great meet last time at January. Once a month, we'll be meeting, sharing our expensive experiences and talking about Reiki as well. And then the Fearless Fest is coming up at the end of the month. I'll be offering sessions i'll be doing some reiki kind of doing many sessions but really focused you know doing some crystal and reiki stones and then chakra balancing and stress release cord cutting that kind of thing so lots of great stuff coming up as well all right so let's see sun shiny day dream summer let's go a card for you let's start it off here we go all right summer we have the five of cups so this card is an interesting card. It shows a little bit of sadness, so there is some healing, and I know you know this, but it's okay. But just remember to lift your head up once every while, all right, once in a while. Don't get so focused or tunnel vision that you forget greater things are coming. Horsepower, all right? You might feel a little down now. Five is change. Change is good, all right? Love it. It is a good card for you, all right? All right, Leah, how you been? Great guidance for the week. I love a card. All right, Leah, here we go. 
All right, Leah, we got the Four of Pentacles. So this is a good card in that everything is kind of working in alignment. There could be a little extra tension. You see how like all the bands are here. All right, and that also indicates maybe holding on too tight. All right, so see where you can let go a little bit so that everything is flowing rather than trying to work so hard and push it through back up. But this is in the physical plane, so things are coming into alignment. And lots of times you'll find balance, but just make sure that you aren't holding on too tight. All right, there we go. All right, yay. Alex, did you have a good birthday? All right, so here's after birthday card. We have the Father of Swords. <clears throat> All right, so this is being really decisive in the work that you're doing. Look at the sword. Look at the rainbow. The owl's wisdom. So really learning how to be very decisive and make decisions, this card can help you to do that. All right? Take some of that Saturn energy to help you do that as well. Okay? All right, Leah says so on point. All right, Alex, let me know how that feels for you. Maybe there is a decision that you need to make. All right? All right. Who else? Hey, Fariz, how are you? How you doing? Hey, Jeremy over here on Facebook. Thank you guys for coming on. I know it is the Super Bowl. <laughs> who's winning? I have no idea. Let me know if you know who's winning. San Francisco or the other team? All right. Uh, Fariz, this card is for you. Perfect for you, Summer. All right. Is the daughter of pentacles. All right, so this card has a little bit of innocence to it. It's about physicals, our physical world, our money, our work. She always reminds me that be creative in how you bring your work out into the physical. Look at the rainbow above. Have that creative energy. Be intuitive. Bring your work forward, but maybe in a little different manner. This is some of that energy of being new to what you're doing. Sometimes you can feel raw when you start off on something new, especially in a new way. All right? Let me know how that sits with you. All right, Susie, how are you? A card for you. All right. Two of Swords. All right, a very interesting card. Because this is, has to do with a little bit of that indecision, all right? It's a two, all right? Remember the duality in life. So sometimes, like, what is blocking you from making a decision in your life? All right, that's kind of the question. So asking yourself, what is blocking me? What do I need to know? What am I not seeing? So that you can open up to that decision. And lots of times, being swords, it's in the mental plane. So clear your mind, do a little bit of extra meditation. Always, when this card comes up, reminds me to say, get the selenite out. Use the selenite. Selenite brings this focus and put it like right here. Ask for clarity, all right? Really great energy for that as well. All right, who else? Who did I miss? All right, yes, Alex, we're going to have another Reiki circle. I have my Wednesday night at Birmingham Yoga at, six, at 5.30 and now first of the month at Practice Works again at noon. All right, anybody else? Who did I miss? So this week, really be in alignment with your work. Do a lot of to-do. Like, really structure out what you're doing. Don't try to do everything at once. That just kind of gets you into a whole overwhelmed, clustering energy. But really plan it out. Know that you have more time than you think. Things will start to slow down when we get into that retrograde, the first one of the year coming up. I think it's about the 16th, maybe, somewhere around there. And do your work. All right. Susie, did I get a card for you? You missed me. All right, Susie, here's a card for you. The Hierophant. All right, so this card is all about like asking yourself, where are you losing your power? Who are you giving your power to? All right, so the key is to remember you have your own power. So let that aha moment come in so that you know where you're calling your energy to. All right, so that's really important. Susie, I thought you were team this friend. Yes, and I, I follow you too. You're doing a lot of great stuff with Reiki, right? Where you are. All right, so this card just reminds you, like, really, don't give your power away. Be strong in the keys to who you are. Call, use your voice. Have those aha moments as you do that, okay? Definitely. All right, good card. Yay. All right, anybody else, if I missed you, let me know. We've been really doing a great time over the Empowered Spirit Circle on our Abundance Meditation. We are on day 33. I'm super happy for that. We continue to another... 10 days, 8 days, something like that. So, yes, come join us. You can always start over if you need to. All right, guys, it will be in another intense week. We're going to see still that energy is moving fast. So try to find the ability to slow down. Really important. Slow your work down. Plan it out. Not everything has to be done at once, even though it may feel like it. Take some time for you to balance the energy. All right. Thanks again for joining me tonight. Have a great work week. 
All right, Brooke, I see you over here. I got one more. Here you go. I see you over here, Brooke. This one is for you. All right, I love this card, the Four of Cups, which is the rat, all right? We have to remember the year of the Chinese rat right now. So this card really is about being grateful for what you do have, taking nothing for granted, all right? Sometimes we can forget. We forget how much we do have, and we want to, like, not appreciate it. So appreciate what you have. Find some balance. Emotional energy, too, is coming in for you with this card. Really open up to do that for yourself, all right? Take nothing for granted, all right? Always a good card, especially here at this Chinese New Year's with the rat. All right, now we will close. Take a moment. Take a nice deep inhale. And exhale away. See your week ahead of you. Calm and peaceful. Nice in alignment with who you are and the intentions you set forth. Thanks again for joining me. Check out the podcast. It's all about Reiki. Check out the podcast. Came out yesterday. All about Reiki. Take a nice deep inhale. And exhale. Thanks again for joining me. So appreciate you being here, especially on big old Super Bowl night. To your spirit, namaste.